I'm an occupational therapist. OTs basically help bridge the gap between what kids are able to do and what they need to be able to do so that we start with three-year-olds and work all the way till they age out at 21. The challenge in the school setting is that we need to make it educationally significant. So we typically work on handwriting skills, sensory processing, their attention, their ability to sit and to participate, and really just kind of all kinds of fine motor skills. Which face are you going to pick? I did it. You did it. I've been in OT for 18 years, and I've been with the school system for 14. Actually, I got into it by accident. <laughs> and once I got into it, I absolutely loved it. Sometimes people will say, wait, you're the handwriting teacher. Why are you in there helping them with toileting skills? Or what do you know about behavior? What we do is we really look at the whole student, the whole person. It's not just the motor skills. Can you make that one look like that one? I absolutely love working with the kids and their personalities and all the differences that they come with, um, the challenges that they face, and then helping them overcome those challenges and seeing the pride and the success that they feel. Good job. You have to be able to interact with students on, a, on their level, and I think you have to be very creative. You have to be ready to just pump with whatever you're thrown during the day, whether you're working with a gen ed student who can sit and attend and maintain and benefit from your instruction in the first trial to students who are really struggling and have multiple handicaps or severe behavior issues, or a three-year-old who's in their first educational or structured setting for the first time in their life. You really need to be able to be flexible and meet people where they are and enjoy people. <laughs>